PD Prowl at Newcastle 2, Huddersfield 0. Big smile on face after that one? Yeah, it was a pretty comfortable day, I thought, to be honest, today. Um, even though if Huddersfield didn't get the red card, I think we still would have won the game anyway, because this team, when we're playing the day, is absolutely in dire straits at the minute. They're an absolute mess, and it looks like they're going to be heading to the Championship uh, next season, particularly with the appointment that they brought in. And you, you look at this manager's track record. Lower league German side, under-19 team, Borussia Dortmund reserves, and he's just been thrown straight in to replace Wagner and it just sounds like they're preparing life in the championship next season. They were awful, horrendous the day. So we capitalised on that big time. So you, you touched on it there, the red call, was it a send-off for you? I'm thinking the way we were going mad about it, the tackle, the way Almiron literally, how we landed, and you're thinking, yeah, I think it was definitely a red card, I would say so, yeah. A lot was made on the build-up of the game. Should Almiron start? Did you think he should have started? How did he get on for you? Oh, definitely. He looks something special, this lad. Even though he missed a couple of chances, which you're thinking, oh, no, which he probably uh, should have taken in the one off the post and the one where the keeper nearly went under his body. But I think the kid has got something special on him and I'm really looking forward to see more of the lad. I think he's, he's got something special about him. Mm. And Dubravka as well. He kept his place in goal after a couple of errors. Would you have been in favour of that as well? Oh, definitely. He's been with Top Class Kibben. He had, he had absolutely nothing to do with the day, to be honest. Nice day off the day. Oh, you? day off, like, because again, Huddersfield, look, weak as piss up front. Absolutely weak as piss up front. Uh, at least he collected a couple of balls with his leg from, oh, from the corners definitely. and things like that. Good for his conference, clapped the fans. So, kick on from then. We're going to Tuesday, Burnley at home. Second run of fixtures where you guys will need to be looking to beat teams around me. Do you think we will? It's going to be a pretty tough game on Tuesday night because uh, Burnley with them getting us a win against Tottenham the day. So, but if we keep playing well, there's a chance of getting another three points on Tuesday because we're definitely not guaranteed save yeah, We need another few wins on the road. So, hopefully we will, and uh, hopefully we should be all right by the end of the season. All right. Anything else you want to say? Um, just so glad <laughs> we won the day. And um, love uh, Longstaff's new chant from what I hear and where I was sitting the day. Oh, I didn't catch that one, mate. What was that one? Everyone needs a Johnny in the middle. Everyone needs a Johnny in the middle. <laughs> his name is Sean Longstaff and he loves the tune. Oh, thank you. Lawrence, Newcastle 2, on his field nil. That was a nice, comfortable day at the office for Newcastle. Yeah, I said 2 0. Uh, Thumbhead, Bronton, Perez with the goals. And you, so you, you tipped that before the game, did you? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say anything on like, social media. I think usually I just put the score. But I, thought, I just thought in my head, runs on Paris goals. Yeah, should have had money on that. Yeah. I mean, Newcastle had finished 2-0, but it could have easily been 4, 5, 6, 7 to work, couldn't it? Well, yeah. Um, you know, Huddersfield just looked awful. I mean, let's be honest, they've got no... They don't, not, they don't belong in the Premier League. Yeah. They're not going to be there much longer, they're rock bottom. Nah, I think uh, Aaron Moy will go. And if you look at like, the, what they did in January with the replacement for Wagner, I think Wagner just walked before he got a relegation on his CV. Yeah. Um, I think they're probably what Jason Punchin, who's kind of like a typical party signing. Um, but um, but yeah, I kind of think they're just getting young manager in now, maybe prepare for the championship because I see this guy is maybe similar to Wagner, you know, with the teams he's managed. Almiro made his debut of the day. What did you make of him? Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Golf had something different that Newcastle haven't had for a while, didn't he? Well, yeah, um, I wanted him to start um, ahead of that. I was impressed with him against Wolves when he came on. And again, I just knew he was going to perform really good. I thought, he'd, uh, I think he, he may have gotten an assist. I haven't seen it back, but uh, I did think, predicted he'd get an assist, actually. Burnley, Tuesday night, another huge game. Yeah. Relegation rivals. Yeah. What are you predicting for that one? Either 1-1 one, one or 2-1 to us. Yeah. Uh, the difference is this time, look at last season's picture, with an R8 right striker, we would have won that game by probably two goals. Yeah. You remember how bad Hostley was. Yeah. But now we've got Rondon there. Newcastle 2, Huddersfield 0. Nice and happy after that one. Oh, bloody buzzing, man. Absolutely <laughs> buzzing. <laughs> like, uh, great, great, great result for the great result for the two. Like. Mm. Um, how are you doing, Gary? Um, Alma Rondon was uh, classing out. He's going to reach out and grab you. Abra, Abra, Jeff Ramka. He's going to reach out and grab you. <laughs> Draft got a day, started there. Uh, a lot of controversy, you know, heading into that. So he's had a few errors. What did you make of that? Would you start him? 
uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Like, I would have done like mm. had, had some, uh, just, just had some um, ups and downs, but he's one of our top uh, top goalkeepers this season. A lot of made obviously the record signing. Miguel Almiron, home debut of the day, St James's Park. How did he get on? Oh, Almiron was just class. Like he's just like he's got the pace, and it's the. The money is is worth what we've paid for 20, 21 and a half million or something, mm. and he's he's worth he's worth it. He's got the pace. He knows where to pick pick up pick up a pass, and he's just knows where to. Uh, he just know just knows where he wants to yeah, go. Yeah, some really good balls. Uh, isn't he? He, I think for me, he's Almiron's a, a bit. Almiron's a lot a lot more better compared to Atsu on the oh. le, on, on the left hand side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the amount of chances Newcastle created the day, the amount of times they hit the post, could have been five, six, or seven, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have been absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. Should it should have been like six, seven now? Um, and the, when they had a when they had a guy took off from uh, when Al took Alan on it, um, that 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 was it for them. They were just like completely can't be bothered. Mm. But New, Newcastle were just all over them. Another huge game on on Tuesday night against Burnley. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Um, I reckon we're going to go out there and, and nail it. I reckon it's going to be, I would say, possibly two, three nil to the two. Aye. Aye. Confident that Burnley are on a good run of form. Beat Aye. Spurs today. Aye. Hope, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll beat uh, Burnley on on Tuesday, and I would like to see possibly a point on Saturday against West Ham. Mm.